hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time of coming please do not forget to like the video if you find it helpful and also subscribe to my youtube channel and I also recommend to people so like i said in the previous video that uh, we are going to do a standard feature step and um, when we are done with the step we are going to move um, ahead and do a, a scenario outline all right so let us begin so in this step we have done this before you could watch all my previous videos especially the one with um, bdd and you would get uh, an hint of what has been done here so i will select all the steps created and i will generate a dynamic file path oh i might have a bit of an issue here. i have not created the folder yet so let me quickly create a folder standard and inside standard let us create the step folder there is a different naming convention here now so you have a standard dot spec dot cy dot js yes so this is the new way to write so we can oh yeah this is there now so we have created this so the next thing that we need to do unlike um, the previous one we need to import this um, steps given when and then and we import them from um at uh bait ball yeah so now that this has been imported let's check it in our test and see as you can see everything returned true that's why it works everything returned true so um let's just test the first step all right let's test the first step and see that it works so let's just put a uh, cy.visit here because we already have uh, a base url so let's just put cy.visit here and use a um, if a, um, a forward slash as you can see the site was launched already so which means um, our configuration is quite straightforward now you don't have to be looking for any folders everything can be done from one point it just means that you might need to install one more dependency as opposed to just um, a single dependency when we're using the older version so let's get to work and begin to um, have fun so in our commands folder in our commands file inside the support folder we would import the fill command cypress fill command while in the e3 folder we will import any type of file that we were about to use right so let's begin let's create a folder um, custom commands and let's just do um standard standard dot actions dot cy dot js so now that we've done this we need to import that in our ETE and that would uh, be import um we have custom commands folder here and uh, inside it we have this okay so now that this has been imported we can begin to write our custom commands inside it we can uh, save ourselves the trouble okay for people who are joining for the first time and we just want to follow through with this video let's uh, select elements by ourselves so and not select elements by ourselves so we inspect and we use this so we need the username and we need the password all right and uh, we also need the login button okay so those are the four things that we need so we can go into our fixtures folder 
you can rename example to probably selectors or element elements right so let's open it and here we can name this um username field pardon me we can call this the password field and we call the last one here the body we call it the login button right so in the username field we can insert the username value oh we didn't copy anything that's funny <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just went on like that. So I should copy the data test UI here. And for the password, this is the data test password for the password and the data test for the login button. Please watch my previous videos to have a comprehensive understanding of how I picked, how, why I decided to use the data test username, the data test password and data step test login button the assumption here is for those who are watching this video you've watched my previous videos and we, you've um, listened and watched how i talked about the best practices when it comes to identifying elements so moving on we are now putting the value for username and uh, we can turn this one to a single quote or use the escape button, the escape key. So we will do the same thing for um, password. Oh my goodness! So we are a bit slow with this. I wish I could be faster. Uh, I wish I could be faster, but um, we are almost done anyways. So. so with that being said, you already have um, the fields that we need. Then we just need the username and password. So username is a um, standard user. Um, and uh, the password is secret source password is um, secret secret source alrighty so with this done we can begin to write our command and the command that we want to write first is we want to launch the app so we can say cypress dot um, commands dot add All right i want to launch the app launch app and launching the app does not take anything from us does not take any argument from us so we just have it done voila and that would just be cy dot visits So this would help us launch the app by referencing the base URL from the referencing the base URL from the from from the uh, Cypress config.js file which we have uh, stated here. All right. So that done, let me just replic replicate this. Um, mm, mm, So let me replicate this again, again. So if I launch up with one, I insert username with one, I insert password with one. I click login 
You said password should not have a space. I click login with one and um, I verify the product with the last one. Okay. So in order to click the to, to click login, I need to get the username and the password. So this is where fixture folder comes in. Yes. And in element, let's get all the attributes of the element.json. So um Let's call this EL seizure. So let's call that EL and we do a CY dot get. We are trying to get the value of the username. So we say username field dot we can verify that that username field exists dot exists right and we can now type into it what are we typing we are typing the username right now this would probably be the same type of step for the next one which is password so we can just copy and paste it and put password here and insert password here as well. So the click login button, of course, we'll still need the CY dot fixture, but what we'll be doing essentially is what a click. So we'll be doing a click. So, and this will be the login button, the login button. I would like us to finish as fast as possible. So yes, checks out all so far. So the next one now is to verify the pro that the product page has, we can verify that the product page is um logged uh, is is accessed successfully so we could check that we can see products so let's just uh, click this so we can check if this span contains the title it contains the text product so we can see product title we can get into our fixture file and say product title. It's called title. How did I get the dot title? Because it's a class name. Classes are represented by a dot before the actual value. So that's dot title and we can come into our actions folder, of course, still do this and say um, product title, product title should exist. And after it exists, it should have text it should contain this is contain it should contain it should contain products right so we have done this so we can use all these customized um we can use all these customized command to work on the feature all right 
so now that we've done that we do not need to open this at this point neither do we need to open it at this point we just need to know that we've referenced it correctly which we've done so we can go into the step um, we can go into the step definition file and start replacing so we can give it launch app and um, cy dot insert cy dot insert username all right and um cy dot insert password good then cy dot um, click login to so click the login button and the last definitely not the least to verify the products so with that done we should check if it is running on our code as you can see it is loading it up yes it's trying to visit blocked a frame within the origin from accessing a cross origin now when this happens that it is a cross origin we would go into our cypress config.js and we would add this command chrome web security we set it to false so with this done i think um, that issue should be gone so let's see again okay because we made a, a, a change to the config file it has to it had to reload itself so let's see if it would run let's um, load it and see if it would log us in successfully as you can see it has done that yeah we are in and it has verified that um, the whole thing logged in successfully so this has brings us to the end of the video in the next video we are going to go directly into scenario outline or and um, show you how it works or, prob or probably maybe we would just do um i guess we just have to just go to scenario outline because nothing else has changed so even the scenario outline i'm trying to sh I would show you has not changed the scripting doesn't change the only thing that has changed is the configuration and the structure which i've shown you so thank you once again for um getting this far with me and um it's been a very wonderful one month plus since we started the cypress journey so do not forget to like and subscribe and recommend the videos thank you very much bye bye